I think I have a problem. It's got nothing to do with this, okay? The problem is the fans. Stop letting these artists brainwash you. Come to me, let me brainwash you instead. To be 100% honest, this is an issue that's been bothering me for quite some time. The video shouldn't be too long, hopefully. Stop letting artists control your thoughts with the, 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 the thing that they want to put out. One of the things that I would critique Wale for if I were to make a video about him would be his his lack of you know willingly accepting criticism of his most recent project simply because he feels like some people viewed it the wrong way but this is less about them and it's more about the fan base how many times have you heard the argument this isn't what it is this is what it was supposed to be to negate criticism of an artist what fans will generally do when it comes to their subject matter is to give you the narrative that the artist wanted to give you. So let's say Kendrick Lamar's album, most everybody was saying at first that, you know, it wasn't meant to be played backwards. I was one of the few people that said it was meant to be played backwards, but I didn't have enough evidence to support that claim. If it were up to me, I don't think that I would have just outright said, mm, this can be played backwards, or it should be. I was slightly brainwashed and influenced by the mass amount of people that were adding me on Twitter. That ruined the experience for me because it shifted my mentality from listening to it forward and not really seeing anything thematic happening playing it backwards to oh yeah, they must be onto something when I don't have any evidence to support that. Just like Kendrick didn't necessarily have severe evidence to support that. I think Kendrick's claim in saying that, yeah, it's a backwards album also, is to say that it can be played backwards, not necessarily this, this huge monumental statement that's going on when you play the whole thing backwards. But it's not just Kendrick. Even though his album or his project could be played backwards, I still allow myself to be influenced by popular opinion. And I'm telling people who are watching this now not to make that same mistake. Had I not been looking at Twitter, that is not something that would have come from my mouth. Because from listening to the album three, four times, that's not a theme that I thought was relevant or something that I felt should be talked about. Even if it could be played backwards, it's not something that's that powerful. When Kendrick came out and said, hey, you can play this thing backwards. Yeah, it's a theme. It added even further fuel to the fire. Yes, there is sometimes backward speech in some of the songs, but still that wasn't enough to sway my opinion to think that this is really something that I should be listening to back to front. So what ends up happening is you start getting into arguments or debates with people explaining a point from the rapper's point of view. Not from your own, but simply because you were influenced by a popular opinion. You don't know how to argue why you like this or, or why it makes sense. You're saying it because you were influenced. Now whether that influence comes from Twitter, other social media or a rapper slash fan base. It's dangerous to be swayed by an opinion of someone who's popular when you can't really rationalize why it is they're saying what they're saying. This leads to a blind acceptance of the illogical. It leads to following the leader. It pretty much uh, helps abandon independent thinking. When you let rappers give you anything as a, as a reason or justification to why something sounds the way it does, you're literally gonna be listening to them for no reason. Schoolboy Q, for instance, recently came out and said he was a fan of Lil Pump's most recent project. People were telling me after the fact, hey, you know Schoolboy likes this album. So fucking what? Who cares? People were telling me Kendrick was a fan of X's album. So what? People were telling me Wale was a fan of Gold Link's album. Who cares? Unless these artists can give me enough justification with their opinion or bring up enough logic with the points that they state, I don't need to listen to their opinion, okay? It's fine if they like these projects, okay? Bump a little pump if you like them. Now, sometimes you can just like something, all right? You don't really need a logical reason as to why you like it. If it gives you a feeling, if it makes you all warm and bubbly inside, go ahead and keep bumping it. But if you are investing money into someone else's music and they're not giving you enough logical reasons for you to justify the point of their project after you may have been feeling some kind of way about it don't let your opinion be swayed because the artist is telling you it's about this or their fan base is telling you no it's supposed to be interpreted like this wale's most recent song on his uh newest project that recently came out i forgot the name of it another song on there that uh the premise of the song was cocaine in dc he goes through the trouble of explaining exactly what this song is about right and I completely understand the point of it, right? I still don't like the song. Don't allow the fan base of whatever artist it is that you're supporting to dismantle your dislike 
for a certain style of music. Don't let your criticisms of something be negated simply because if I bring up what the song is actually supposed to be interpreted as, that's somehow supposed to negate any criticism for it. Because at the end of the day, Lil Pump could come out tomorrow and tell you his album was all about his experience in Harvard University. Even if that were the case, your mixtape is, is still a no for me, dog. I'm telling you guys not to let this happen because it's happened to me and I'm never gonna allow it to happen again. That's the beautiful thing about music, okay? If you like it so much or dislike it so much, really give yourself the time to come up with reasons to support why you like or why you dislike it. So that fans at the end of the day and artists at the end of the day can't come at you and give you these ridiculous excuses and give you these song topics as justification for why you don't like the music. Because at the end of the day, the only person's opinion who truly matters is yours. I know that felt cheesy, but I actually meant that. I delivered it in a cheesy way to make a joke, but now I feel totally different about it after it came out of my mouth. So, I'm sticking with it. It's been Sean C. Don't let these rappers influence your opinion or control you. It's been fun, but I gotta go. I was a little bit colder than I thought. Sean C., and I'll see you next time. And I'm out. But I'm not leaving the chair, but I'm out. I'm gone.